Welcome along to the Daily Diaries. My name is Crystal and I'm thrilled that you're here today. Uh, this is a channel that is mostly a beauty channel, but also kind of a, a vloggy channel in a way because I talk a lot about my life. It's also just somewhere to have fun and I believe that makeup should be accessible to everyone to just have fun with. I think people take it way too seriously. Today, I'm so excited because I've got a bunch of products that I've ordered from the makeup brand Bodyography. I have just stumbled across this recently and I know that their glitter pigments are really popular. So I ordered this one here in the shade Solar Flare, which we're gonna have a good look at. It looks really, really pretty. I also have some of their liquid eyeshadows. I've got a new blush from RMS to pop on, and I've got a bunch of lipsticks and lip liners. So we're just gonna swatch some stuff out and I might put some stuff on my face. And um, yeah, we'll just go from there. All right, let's jump on in. First of all, I'm wearing on my face today over the top of my e.l.f. Halo Glow, which if you've been here before, you know I am thoroughly obsessed with. I am wearing that with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation over the top. And I think it's really a nice combination. I really like it. This is a very thin consistency, so if you are looking for coverage, this ain't it, but <laughs> just dropping it, it's a good start. I'm very clumsy if you haven't been here before. Yeah, it's very sheer coverage, but it's so glowy and, and really just really nice. It feels really lightweight on my skin, and I think it's just a match made in heaven with the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and I've just got a little bit of concealer, and a little bit of powder through my T-zone. I've got my Kiko Milano powder on. So I'm enjoying this. If you like a serum, if you like a really natural finish, I'm surprised. I have not tried anything from CoverGirl for like 20 years. I'm not even kidding. But I actually saw Nikki LaRose on her YouTube channel. She did a video where she tested out all, like every foundation from the, you guys in America call it drugstore. We call it the pharmacy or a chemist. And this was one of the ones that she tried and I just thought it looked really nice. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. My shade that I have here is light medium. Also, can I just get a shout out for some natural light that's like actually coming in right now? Normally I have no natural light in this room. It's very exciting to, to have that here. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> so that is what is on my face today. Now, I don't even know where to start because these all look amazing. I think, first of all, let's swatch the Bodyography eyeshadow products. So I've got two of the Crystal Glide liquid eyeshadows here. And I'm going to tell you, they're probably going to look very similar because they are very similar shades. <laughs> I wanted something that would just be really light and bright on my eye. This shade is Ruby. So let's take a look. These products were so well priced and I'm not sure. I need to do some research into where the label, the makeup uh, company comes from. But when I was on their website, there was an Australian guy doing spiels about it. So there's obviously, I'm, I'm assuming he's an owner. And I was like, oh, it's an Aussie. So yeah, that's cool. These got here really quickly too, like really quickly. That is the shade Ruby. Oh, that's so beautiful. So like a pinky. I on When it's in the light, it looks kind of like a rose gold, but then in the darkness, it looks a little bit more mauvey, like, but yeah. It's a stunner. Look at, look at the metallic finish on that. Gorgeous. So that one was Ruby. I also picked up the shade Citrine. So they come in this cute little package with a little doe. They're not very big. I will say that they're quite small, but how much product do they have in them? 1.9 grams made in the USA. Okay, so maybe that Aussie makeup artist lives in the US, but he definitely has an Australian accent. <laughs> He's one of my peeps. <laughs> okay, for those who have been following my 
<laughs> naturopathic diet journey. I had my first treat meal last night in like three weeks. I've not had a snack, not a snack in between meals. And I have had the strictest, I've basically been, I'm going to turn into a rabbit because all I've been eating is lettuce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but, um, oh wow, that's really pretty too. So that's citrine. So that's more of a, that's more of a rosy gold, like a copper rose gold champagne hybrid, that one. Super metallic as well. Uh, so yes, for my treat meal, God, they're so pretty. I had, if you're in Australia, you know, grilled burgers, they're the best. Uh, they have lots of gluten-free options, which is so good for me and they don't have any artificial colors or preservatives according to their packaging <laughs> so I had a delicious Wagyu beef burger and some gluten-free onion rings and then I kid you not I ate an entire block of chocolate I know out of control but I think I was just really overexcited so I think because now I can have treat meals every week I think I'll be <laughs> I'll be more contained next time <laughs> but bloody hell it was good and you know what's really funny I can't wait to tell my naturopath this I actually feel better today than I felt every other day. So I think maybe burgers and chocolate are supposed to be my food. <laughs> okay, so those are those beautiful metallics from Bodyography. Then I also, have a billy hair on my lip. I also picked up the glitter pigment that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So the shade is Solar Flare. This looks so pro. Let's give it a swatcherini. Oh, it's very soft to my touch. Oh, this is really pretty. Okay, so this, this shade right here is Solar Flare. I will say a lot of the shades were sold out when I was ordering my glitter pigment, but I was really happy this one was there because it's beautiful. It's a really stunning bronzy pink. Wow, okay. Well, I'm obviously gonna be putting something of this little trio on my lids. I just don't know. Which one should we go with? I might do a combination of the Ruby liquid eyeliner and the Solar Flare Glitter Pigment. Let's do that. Let's pop some on before we move on with our lives. <laughs> All right, so what I think I wanna do is just apply it with the doe foot to my lid and then blend it out. Also, sorry, my hair's a bit feral. I went for a swim earlier today <laughs> at the beach. The water was freezing, <laughs> uh, but it was still a wonderful swim. Beach is my happy place. And I live only 10 minute drive from the beach. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow, that's going on beautifully. When I'm doing this stuff, I like to do one eye at a time just because I don't know how fast the shadows set down and I wanna be able to obviously blend them out. So I'll make sure I have enough time to work with them. So I've started rehearsals for the Adams Family. Did I tell you? I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. And the cast is so good. Oh my goodness, we did it. Yeah, we did a reading and everyone was incredible. I feel like I've already told you this. <laughs> but if you weren't here for the last video, that's great. It's all new and exciting for you. <laughs> that's so pretty. Mm. Let me zoom you in a tad so you can get a good look at what that looks like. Bit more than tab, wasn't it? <laughs> I love these types of things for traveling. Just whack it on and you're beautiful and ready to go. Because <laughs> these are really compact too. They weigh nothing in your suitcase and take up hardly any space. I might just put a tad on the, and the lower lash line. 
Oh, what else is... That's beautiful. Oops. Mm. In case you're wondering, I'm just using a Retha 14 blending brush. Well, I love that color. Oh, that's, <laughs> that just looks so nice. That looks so, so nice. Uh, okay, while we're here, I'm going to just pop a little bit of the glitter, what's it called? Glitter pigment. Oh, Scheisenhausen, I'm making a mess. <laughs> That's how I roll. And do I want to use a glitter glue? I might as well, I've got one here. I'm just gonna go in with the Barry M Glitter Fix Joe. I have a feeling though, it would actually be fine without it. Let me know if you've used them before and you think that they're okay without. I, I feel like the sun's just disappearing on us. <laughs> now we're a bit more in the dark. Is that, is that accurate? <laughs> Let's try that. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna pop it because I just wanna keep the um, glitter pigment on the on the lid on the lid this is fun okay <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my finger oh isn't that beautiful wow hmm <laughs> oh this is this is my jam That is my kind of color. That's so pretty. Solar flare for the wound. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to get more of these bad boys. Do you see what I'm saying? pure beauty fill me up buttercup <laughs> just keeping on building it up I'm obsessed with that color oh my gosh guess who's ordering more of these things straight away me <laughs> what a stunner okay well, couldn't be more thrilled about that, to be honest. <laughs> that situation. <laughs> All right, well, I've got you in nice and close. Let's look at the, I'll finish the eyes off after. Uh, let's look at this blush from RMS. I do have one of these in another shade called Hanky Panky, which is completely different. It's more of a, it's almost like a ready purple flipper. It's a really, it's a really cool shade. Now, I what I've been enjoying doing is layering this over the top of my London, sorry, iconic London Rollaway Glow. This shade is peach something, peach paradise. <laughs> so let's go on there. Let's go on there. And I shall take a sponge like so. And Blend. <laughs> so we're gonna old fashioned <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> so I've got that on there. And then I'm gonna take my new favorite brush for applying blushes and cream bronzers. It's the Sonia G Sheer Buffer. I like it for these blushes because they have that weird kind of gel-like consistency. Oh, that's so pretty. Yes, please. <laughs> that looks 
so good. Oh, love it. The Chloe. Dink, dink, dink. I'm very happy with that. I think that looks really nice. So yeah, did I say the shade is Maiden's Blush? Yeah. And now I am a Maiden. <laughs> beautiful. Love it. It's got this beautiful... I don't know, it makes me look a little bit more bronzed, but it has that little touch of pink to it. Very pretty. So I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying the Maiden's Blush. And now let's pop, actually I'm gonna do some liquid liner, I think. So I'm just gonna take the NYX, this is a new Epic Ink Liner in brown. And I'm going to put that on. And I'm probably going to edit most of this out. Okay, I'm back with my liner on and look, <laughs> I know it says it's brown, but honestly, it looks black. Every time I put it on, I'm like, this looks black. <laughs> I wish, because I really like the formula, I wish that they would come out with a more like medium brown, like a rich medium brown would be so, so nice. Nix, if you're listening, uh, please. <laughs> okay, so I actually went a bit thicker with the liner than I was planning to, but these things happen and that's life. So <laughs> I do want to just put a little touch of... Picking up this Wayne Goss eyeshadow palette, the Luxury Eye Palette Amber. If you haven't seen the video, there is one up with this. And I'm taking the little shimmery pink in the corner. And I'm going to pop that right in here. In this little corner here. I'll tell you what, guys. I've got some bold lip products in front of me. They are very colourful. So if you like colour, get excited. <laughs> I watched a good movie last night. You've probably already seen it. It's been out for ages, I think. But uh, it was on Netflix. And it was Happiness for Beginners. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it muchly. <laughs> Can recommend if you want something that will just make you feel good. I love it. Okay, cool. I'm going to pop some mascara on and then I'll be back and we can move on with looking at the lip stuff. <laughs> Okay, I am back with mascara on. I'm just gonna turn the light up a little because we are losing, <laughs> we're losing the light slowly but surely. <laughs> we are in daylight saving, but the days are getting shorter, which sucks because I live for daylight saving. But anyway, <laughs> so I popped my Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer on and I used the Gwen Stefani Give Beauty Line Can't Stop Staring Mascara with it and Actually, I'm just going to chuck a little bit of my, oh god, it needs sharpening. <laughs> I should only buy things that wind up, honestly, because I am so lazy when it comes to sharpening things. <laughs> so I just end up scratching my eyeballs out with bits of wood that are popping up on the eyeliner. <laughs> just taking this Pillow Talk eyeliner, I just want to run that in there. By the way, this is a burgundy shade eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. I always like to, especially when I'm wearing a liquid liner, I like to make sure that I use a pencil to get in into the rim of the eyelid. So there's no gaps, you know, there's no like, you can't see my skin gap in there. <laughs> All right, so that's that situation. Now, I picked up, because I've never really, I'll, I'll, I'll be straight with you, I've never been a huge lip liner wearer. Like, I went through a phase, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, where I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to wear some lip liner. Since then, never do it. But I just decided that maybe it might be useful, so 
<laughs> I actually popped into Sephora and picked up two Sephora brand lip liners. And I was so impressed when I was trying these out. These are the lip stain liners and they are a wind up, eh? <laughs> We're excited about that. This shade is first date and it's kind of a pinchy, a pinchy, <laughs> a peachy pink color, which is just right up my alley. I'm going to have to make some room for my, <laughs> on the swatching hand here. There were actually four shades that I wanted, but it's pre payday and I have zero money. So it was, I chose two. <laughs> and she's like, um, oh, you get 10% off. Do you, do you want another one? I'm like, no, I still just want to. <laughs> I'll get the other two later. So this is, oh my gosh, they're so creamy. That is the shade First Date, which is beautiful. I think I will wear this to death. It goes with so many of the colors I like to wear because I can use it with kind of peachy shades and I can use it with beautiful pinky shades, beige, pinks. And just the consistency is so creamy. I really, really like this lip liner. And it was so, like, so well priced, you know, compared to... I looked at a couple of different lip liners, but no one really had the color that I wanted. And I feel like the color range in these lip liners is excellent. They have so many great colors and vibrant colors too, which are often lacking in lip liners. You, you, you just get nudes. And I'm like, ah, boring. So <laughs> this is the shade Sunrise Pink. It's gorgeous. So this is a hot pink. Man, is she pretty. Love that. I also want to get the shade Cherry Pink and what was the other one? Oh, Chili Pepper. One of the best bands ever, but also the color is like a really awesome, bright orange, like a ready orange, but orange. Okay, so these are the lip liners I picked up and I think they are beautiful. I am so happy with these. I wore one all day yesterday and it just looked amazing. Stayed on really well. So they take a sec to dry down, but once they do dry down, they're good. They're done. So I will be using one of those. I just don't know which yet because I don't know what lip color I want to put on. And I do have a, <laughs> I have a couple of lip products in front of me here. So first of all, I have this one from Look Beauty Foods. I like this company. I already have one of my other favorite lipsticks from them is Tangerine and Pomegranate. This shade is Cherry Plum. It's a sheerer one. So uh, this company, these are non-toxic lipsticks. They have a lot of natural ingredients. I'm not sure if they're all natural, but they're definitely mostly natural. And that's a, on the lips. That color is absolutely stunning. It's this beautiful, like, ruby pink real cherry like it's just divine and it looks very juicy on my lips and it smells oh my god it smells like delicious fruit and i want to eat it <laughs> so that is that one i could probably just show you what that looks like because that'll come off easily when i if i need to remove it all right let me show you how this one looks since we're here i do have Bits, but he's on my lips at the moment. Okay. So pretty. These are in no way long wear lipsticks, okay? They're just, they're not made for that. So you will need to reapply. <laughs> but, mmm, it's such a pretty color. And honestly, it just is making me starving because... It smells so yummy, like just fruit. It just smells like fruit. Citrus, mm, so good. Um, yes, so that is that color. And I actually really want to team it up with one of the lip liners. And there's actually a shade that I didn't pick up, which was the cherry, cherry pink, I think it was called. Oh, that will go really well with this lipstick. So I think what I want to do is grab that and then line it around the edge and also all over my lip, like buff it into my lip so that I can wear this over the top and it will just give a little bit more longevity 
but I, I really like the finish of it and I really love the color. I think it's really pretty. Ah, so that's that one. <laughs> now, I also have in front of me, I bought two products from the Bodyography line while I was, while I was there on the website. So I have here the, what's this one? This is, it's just called lipstick. And the shade is the language of beauty. Or is that the slogan for the company? No? Maybe the shade is Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look into that. I'll try and uh, put a little subtitle here. Mm. Your hair on my lips, Bilbo. Michael Vidal, Billy Bowie Girl. He pops up every now and then on the channel and he's bloody adorable. And he's just lying over there. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Oh, no, yeah, this shade is called Joe. So obviously the, the motto is the language of beauty, bodyography. I get it, cool. So, <laughs> Joe, I've got a real theme going here. I love me a bright lip. I just love it. Oh, sick. Oh, I should have bought that bloody chili pepper liner. It would have been perfect with this. That is a really cool orange shade. That's beautiful. Mmm, love it. Yeah, that's not red orange, that's orange. That's properly orange. Should I try that one on as well? And then I've got the last one, which I think I'll leave on because it's, I think like really long wearing. So, all right, let me, let me try this orange one on just for kicks. <laughs> this is so much fun, I love playing with you, Michael. Let's go in with this bad boy. Okay. Hmm. I feel like this smells a bit um fruity as well. It feels almost a little bit waxy. But not not in a bad way. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get that lip liner from Sephora, the chili pepper color, because that will go perfectly with this lipstick. That's a really cool orange though. I really, I really like that shade. Let me, let me just zoom you in for a sec. So that is the orange. That's really cool. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like that it's orange. Yeah, definitely orange. Very poppy. Cool, all right. I like it. I like it, I like it. Uh, it's my birthday this month, so Sephora did send me a thing. If I order online, I get $20 off something, so I'll order a couple of lip liners, I think, once I get paid, because there is nothing before that. I'm seeing my endo specialist tomorrow. And that's never cheap, but he's awesome. I love, I love my endo specialist. He's, he's the best. Okay, finally, I have got from Bodyography the Lip Lava Liquid Lipstick in the shade Heartbreaker. So it's, didn't mean to be a heartbreaker. This is what we're looking at here. It's very, very good looking. I like it. I like it. Um, let me swatch it. Oh, it's a beautiful color. It's a real hot pink, vivid pink. I love a pink that's so vibrant, it almost borders on being red. And that's really cool. We're definitely going to put that one on. I don't know. I think I'm going to just use this, this lip liner, the, even though it's not quite right, I'm going to use the sunrise pink lip liner. So let's do that now. Okay. So a little wind up situation. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Just have a close up of my nose. That's helpful. I know lip stains are so totally in right now, but I'm just not, I don't love them. I, I don't love them. I 
a couple of Fenty ones that are pretty, but I don't like the way they wear. Any, like, not the Fenty ones, but just in general, lip stains. Can I just say, though, these lip liners are in a bit. They are mm, really nice. Let's go in with this. Pretty lady. Little doe foot. That feels like nothing on my lips. It's very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. And I think it would look really nice with a gloss over the top. I'm just going to give it a little minute to dry down. Because it's definitely very matte. Look at, um, let's go back to these liners. Jeez, that's all right. Let's just wipe the other gear off. That's excellent. That's excellent. Okay, so that is the liquid lip. Lip lava, liquid lipstick. I like the name of that. And that's a really cool color. Very nice. And if you love a matte, then that's awesome. I, I like a matte, but I also like a gloss. Uh, I'm just gonna take this Burt's Bees Squeezy Tinted Balm in Watermelon Rush. I'm pretty sure I'm that lip product dries down like instantly. <laughs> well, that's impressive. I put that on with my finger and it removed none of the lipstick underneath it. So that lipstick is locked down tight. And I just like that little sheen that it's given back to it. That's that's really nice and really impressive. All right. That is everything new that I had to play with today. Let me zoom you out again. Beautiful. I I am obsessed with everything I put on my face. I love all of it. It's all beautiful. The glitter pigment is so pretty. The blush I really like, especially in combination with my roll away glow from iconic london which has seemingly rolled away <laughs> uh, oh no there is um so this is the peach paradise that was the highlighter that i used underneath the blush so yeah really liked the maiden's blush in that combo i think that was really nice i really like the liquid eyeshadows i actually used the citrine shade yesterday and it looked beautiful and light and bright on my eye. Blended out really easily. And the lips, I love all of the lips. These lip liners, if you haven't tried the Sephora lip stain, lip liners, lip stain liners, I really recommend that you give them a go because they're really well priced and they're creamy and they set down and I really, really like them. I'm gonna be getting a stack of shades in these absolutely and then yeah of course for the lip products I am really I really like this color I'm gonna have to wear it a couple of times to let you know my thoughts on the formula and obviously how it wears throughout the day how it feels on my lips whether my lips dry out but I love the color love that orange and I love my look beauty food lipstick the Beautiful, non-toxic one, absolutely gorgeous. I think when I get the cherry pink lip liner, it's gonna be so nice with that because it will stay, like if I buff that out over my whole lip and then put that on top, it's just gonna, I think it's gonna look beautiful and it's gonna stay and wear so much longer because these are not designed to be long wearing lipsticks, which is fine because they're actually sort of semi sheer. So, oh, what was the last thing? Yes, this bad boy, into it, especially with just a little, balm over the top like that's I can't believe that when I used my finger to apply that balm it did not remove any of that lip product underneath it that's very impressive this dries down pretty much straight away I might have to get more of these also what is this what is this what is mascara doing there could have told me guys <laughs> yeah I am I'm excited. Oh my God, I forgot to show you this other one. 
I also picked up a new lipstick from RMS Beauty. It's the Legendary Serum Lipstick in the shade Linda, and it's gorgeous. Hopefully not exactly the same as the one I have on, but let's have a look. <laughs> I always do that. Buy all these things the same. I already have this lip formula in Mar no, Melanie, which I love, which is more of a peach color. So that is the shade Linda. And fortunately, it is not exactly the same as the one I have on my lips. Similar, definitely similar, but not the same. So yes, and that is beautiful as well. So you will see me wearing this moving forward to, I really like this formula from RMS. I think it's really excellent. It stays on your lips for bloody hours. It feels really nice. The color is so vibrant and it feels lightweight on your lips. Definitely, definitely like those. So that's everything. Thanks so much for being here with me. My camera is about to do one of those things like the witch from the Wizard of Oz. Just, it's just gonna melt into a little puddle. So I better stop talking. Stop yabbering, get on out of here. Thank you for being with me. Please consider subscribing before you leave. I'd love to have you back and a thumbs up, always welcome. Your comments, what was your favorite product that I picked up? Is there one that you are like, oh, I might want that in my life? Let me know. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Thanks for being here. Bye. Billy says bye too. <laughs>